seasonal allergies. I, I, like allergies, it's, a, it's an immune response, right? So I'm thinking the inflammation in my immune system went down, but who knows? Um, I know I'm kind of talking out of my ass here because I'm not a doctor and I have absolutely no medical training when it comes to, comes to uh, blood tests. But <laughs> if you know more about this stuff, please comment below. This is, a, this is a dialogue, so please help me out a little bit if you find this interesting. And the other thing that was high was uh, monocytes, ABS monocytes. Uh, when they're high, a heightened percentage in your blood can be caused by chronic inflammatory disease, such as inflammatory bowel disease. So, another thing with inflammation, isn't that interesting? Two of the things in my blood that could be caused, that are high, that could be caused by inflammation. That is very interesting, isn't it? So, those are the blood uh, results, blood tests. White blood cell count was perfect. Um, again, I talked about the glucose being perfect. I said red blood cell count was perfect. Um, and that's about it. So that was the ketogenic diet. There's the three cures. That's the reintroduction of food. So far, so good. Um, again, I'm not going back to heavy carb anymore. I told you I'd update you on that. I'm not. It doesn't make sense. And I'm definitely not eating dairy again. I don't miss it. I do not miss dairy. I don't miss cheese. I don't miss milk. I don't miss yogurt. Don't miss butter. None of that. So excuse me, dairy is something that I'm fine with missing out on. That's a big inflammatory thing. I guarantee if I reintroduce dairy, allergies would come back. I could probably experiment with that for sure. Um, but I just have to go buy dairy. I don't really want to buy stuff. Um, and then the blood cell or sorry, the blood test all seems good, right? Except for the, the, the high, the high parts, but the nurse said that's like, honestly, nothing to worry about. Um, we'll see if I'm dead within a week. Uh, please call for help now. <laughs> that's so that's the 30-day challenge everyone keto I, I'd highly recommend it if you suffer from seasonal allergies if if you want to try something different for anxiety for depression Right for for any kind of physical illness that you have um, I'm all about just trying everything attacking something that you suffer with from every different possible angle and see what works and diet for the most part is something that people don't really think about and that we don't experiment with, which is actually pretty nuts. Um, let me tell you, it wasn't fun for the first two weeks, um, but it's two weeks out of your life, man. Uh, it was definitely worth it as an experiment, and I'm, I'm going to change the way I eat for the rest of my life. Um, a burger here and there is great, but as far as heavy pastas and dairy sauces and cheeses and candy, uh, it's just not worth it anymore. It doesn't do anything for me. So... Like, I would keep this diet, uh, an altered version, where, you know, I can have, I can still have fruit, which is fantastic, but I do it just from the seasonal allergies point of view and the headaches. Pretty awesome, and I'm pretty excited. So, I hope this gave you some motivation, too, to try this yourself. I know a lot of people who are following the vlogs every day were doing their own challenges. Please comment, let me know how your 30-day challenge went. I know a lot of you were getting rid of refined sugar. Some of you stopped drinking coffee. Other people were doing meditation for a month every day. Um, let me know how that went. And I hope you enjoy the new backdrop for all the videos. I love reading. Music's a form of expression. And I love nature. This is like my mental health toolbox right here. So I hope you like the brighter background because uh, brighter days are ahead for all of us. Stay strong. Keep being you, and don't forget to express yourself.